So this week, there was an image that was sent to me over and over and over again, and it was for the PlayStation 5, and it seems to come from a magazine that attempted to detail the insides of the PlayStation 5, and it was going around for a little while to where people thought that they had leaked the internals of the PlayStation 5, but when it was sent to me, and I took a look, I took one look at it, I just started to laugh a bit, and I wanted to go over it here with you, but I do think they're onto something, and I guess it is like just a rendering that we can take a look at, but I want to show you why I was I was laughing at this uh, at this render here. It is coming from apparently How Stuff Works magazine. I I don't really know why they attempted it this way, but I do understand looking at it why people might not catch immediately what was going on here. Uh, there was a post on the PlayStation 5 subreddit and eventually someone came in and mentioned what the motherboard actually was. But uh, let's, let's go over that here. It's Saturday. We'll have a little bit of fun. Guys, enjoy the video. Make sure you like it on the way out. Let's jump over here to CCN, which I think is one of the websites that was sent to me the most. There was there were several websites that started talking about this as it kind of got out there. And you can see it says PlayStation 5 skeleton leaks to peek inside Sony's next gen console. An image depicting the internals of the PS5 has surfaced online, potentially offering a first look inside the upcoming next gen console. And this again was from uh, apparently a magazine, How Stuff Works. So I guess it makes sense that people would look at that and say, well, it's it's in this How Stuff Works magazine, so maybe they have like an early idea of it. I mean, we're only two months out from the system launching, so it's possible that maybe they got some like like PR early or something to go along with their magazine's release. That happens with like Famitsu when it comes to game reveals or releases or interviews where it might go live in Famitsu like just ahead of when an announcement's going to happen. So I can at least understand why people would have looked at this and said, oh, maybe there really was something here. But here is the render. It's kind of small. I have it also put over into GIMP, and we could take a quick look at it there. But it was quickly spotted. As you can see here, there was an update uh, after this went live. Uh, it says, according to eagle-eyed fans, the motherboard is none other than the very same one found in Sony's PlayStation 3 console, <laughs> suggesting the image is a mere conceptual mock-up based on the console details shared by Sony to date, rather than a genuine like-for-like -like recreation of the PS5 internals. Yes, uh, let me let me show you in in uh, some closer detail here. Like I said, I pulled it over into some imaging editing software, so I can kind of talk you through uh, some of the little spots here. A few that did make me laugh, like I said. So this is the scan of the page that was put out. Now, you see this motherboard right here, right? This is obviously what they kind of dropped in, I assume, as a placeholder just to say, here's what the PlayStation 5 could look like inside. I think they're basing this all around one idea, and it's something I actually agree with here, by the way, which we'll, we'll get into, but this is a PlayStation 3 slim motherboard. I, w I think this would be looking at it, uh, I'm going to say this is probably a PlayStation 3 slim 2001 i'm trying to think right i think i think it would be a 2001 because they don't have the clip for the drive down here usually there'd be like it, it's really dependent on uh i guess if it's built into the board on the drive itself that being a certain chip uh, i know the 3000 series slims would build a certain chip into the motherboard itself whereas the 2000s would have its own dedicated drive board it was called like the daughter board on uh the the drive itself this would to me be a PS3 Slim 2001. This board is backwards. So this is the back of the PlayStation 3 Slim right here, where you'd have like HDMI ports and like your um, Ethernet, all that stuff, right? And then this would be your USB ports right there. You know, on the front, uh, the Slim PS3 has USB ports that would plug in. So that's how I immediately knew that this is just backwards straight up. Also, I noticed the uh, this guy right here. That is a female SATA port and power for your drive. So <laughs> apparently the PS3 has a three and a half or a two and a half inch hard drive bay for some reason that of course is if you want to switch out the drive in your playstation 3 slim you had that little door remember you had the blue screw on the bottom that would unscrew slide over then you take the whole drive out you would replace it by unscrewing it 
drop a new one in, just slide it back in, and then you have to do like firmware and some of that, depending on the number you want. But yes, looking at this, and then of course we have our little our little CMOS battery right there as well. And uh, yes, this is a PlayStation 3 Slim system that they just kind of use. Also, uh, that's our cell chip. <laughs> so hey, there we go. That That's how Sony's going to do backwards compatibility to the PS5. They're just dropping a whole cell chip in there. Now, they have a few boxes that have details in them just to explain what we're looking at here. The fans with the dual cooling zones. That is where I agree. And that's the reason why I think Sony went this direction. I do wonder, however, if there are two fans in there or really just one. You can you can do shra fan shrouds inside and you can all of a sudden have two climate zones but you would have one fan spinning. So if that fan has to increase in speed because one side is getting hotter than the other, the other one will just get cooled more. They could go with a two fan design, but I, I'm always positive. The reason that the system looks the way it does with vents on either side is because there will be two cooling zones. I think one is gonna be for the chip itself, the CPU, GPU combo AMD will provide. And I think on the other side will be for the internal power supply. Because remember, Sony has mentioned they're doing things a bit differently. And we did see that in uh, their, their patent for the dev kit that showed two active cooling zones, right? We had several fans on the outside. That clearly was not going to work into their final design. While some people say they would have liked to have that look, I mean... Let's, let's be honest, people have looked at it on the shelf and been super confused as to what it was. This is a better design by far for the home. Uh, so that that's what I think is going to happen. I, I could be two fans, but I think they're at least onto something with the two fan design for thermal thermals on either side with two active zones. Now, going from there, they do point out a heat sink. That's not at all the heat sink that'll be in there. They point one out here that I don't even think would fit. I don't think this thing would close up. Uh, that reminds me of the heat sink that was in one of the older Xbox 360 models where they had like the tower of aluminum heat sinks. That's kind of what that reminds me of there. Sure, there's the motherboard. Yep, single motherboard. I I thought about this too. There could be a there could they could have two motherboards in here, similar to what the Series X has, where they've broken the motherboard up into pieces. They could go that route. I don't know if they need to. They can probably do a single motherboard for the most part. Now, the CPU, they say is the Zen 2. Yeah, that's that's right. But we know it's the Zen 2. Uh, AMD has outlined this, Sony's outlined this, Microsoft's outlined this. The problem is they appear to be pointing to the south bridge. It's either the South Bridge or the North Bridge. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head with that positioning, but that would be a companionship to the CPU. That is not... They they should have taken this line and pointed at least to here, the cell chip. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't point to the chip that's getting the heat sink, but they decided to point to, I think is the South Bridge, if I'm remembering correctly. And then just for fun, just to, just to top it all off, down here they have the SSD right? It's the PlayStation 5's 825 gigabytes of storage that rep represents the amount of usable space. Uh, do, that would represent the overall size. The usable space will be less than that. So I'm not 100% sure uh, how much the OS will partition, but I'm, I'll say we'll probably get like 750 gigabytes to 760, depending on how much it actually takes up, right? So it's not going to be 825 and it'll certainly be below 800 gigabytes. But the best part, they are pointing to the wireless LAN chip on the PS3. I just scribbled all over that. Yes, this is right here. The square guy right there is our Wi-Fi Bluetooth chip for the PlayStation 3. Uh, I don't know, maybe they thought, hey, that looks like that could be an SSD. Let's just, let's just point to it. I mean, it has some metal over it. Maybe that's why they figured that would work, right? The problem they ran into is they started trying to label things in this picture without really knowing what they were pointing at on the PlayStation 3 board. It was just really funny. You can even see some of the <laughs> some of the antenna traces and stuff coming off of it. Uh, it, it was very funny to see that, that they were pointing at the, uh, <laughs> at the wireless LAN chip, the network chip essentially for the PlayStation 3. But no, this is not anywhere near a PlayStation 5. I don't even know if they know that this is what the inside of the PS5 looks like with the shell because down here almost looks like them mocking up the power supply as well. And I, I think the power supply might be on the other side of the motherboard taking advantage of that other cooling zone. So uh, a lot to take in here, <laughs> we'll say. It was just a fun thing to look at. It, Like I said, people were sending it to me and I, I responded to like two or three of them, but then more people started coming in with it. And I said, you know what, we'll just do a video on it on Saturday for fun and talk about, uh, uh, 
I, I guess them explaining the PS5 using a PlayStation 3 motherboard. It's a bold strategy. Definitely. But let me know what you guys think about this one down below, specifically about the idea of uh, two fans being inside the PlayStation 5 on either side. That's the one takeaway from this that I think they're correct about. So let me know what your thoughts are on that one. Thanks, guys, for watching. Make sure you like the video on the way out if you enjoyed it. Just like it if not. And I'll see you next time.